There are several mechanisms by which liposomes act. In first uh, mechanism is uh, liposomes attaches to the plasma membrane and uh, they fuse uh, with the plasma membrane um, releasing their content into the cells. Secondly, liposomes uh, may be taken up by cell. In some cases, uh, the phospholipids are incorporated in plasma membrane by which drug trapped inside is released. And uh, the third mechanism is the phagocytic cell mechanism. In case of phagocytic cell, uh, the liposomes are taken up. Phospholipid walls are acted upon by organelles called lysosomes and the drug is released into the cell. This diagram uh, is actually showing you how the drug content is released into the cell. This is this part is inside of the cell. This is the lipid bilayer membrane or cell membrane. This is liposome. Uh, the drug is enclosed in the hydrophilic part. Liposome actually binds to the uh, cell membrane. When it binds to the cell membrane, the cell membrane is also a phospholipid bilayer membrane. It combines with the liposomal structure which is itself is a phospholipid bilayer membrane and then it releases its content into the cell. And outside of the cell is actually like the combination of cell membrane and the phospholipid of uh, liposomes. They are actually incorporated into the cell membrane and inside uh, this drug uh, is released. There are several materials which are used for the preparation of liposomes. So we will be uh, actually studying it one by one. The major uh, part of liposome is actually constituted of phospholipids. These phospholipids are cholesterol containing phospholipids and they are commonly used uh, for liposome formulations. The most abundant glycerol phosphatide in plants and animals is uh, phosphatidylcholine, uh, which is commonly known as lecithin, and uh, the other one is phosphatidylethanol amine, which is commonly known as cephaline. These two are major structural components of most biological membranes. As fatty acids are also important constituents of glycerol phosphatides. Um, they are triglycerides of fat cells. The other uh, major component which is used for the preparation of liposome is sphingolipids. They contain the sphingosine or uh, they contain the three characteristic building blocks. This sphingosine, uh, sphingolipid structure uh, contains three characteristic building blocks. One molecule is of uh, fatty acid. The other molecule is of sphingos uh, sphingosine. And uh, the third part is the head groups that can carry from simple alcohol as choline to very complex carbohydrates. Uh, the most abundant sphingolipid in high animals is sphingomyelin and that is mainly used in the production of liposomes. Glycophospholipids are also used and they are found mainly in grey matter of brain tissues of high animals and are used in minor components. These are included in liposome formulations in order to provide them a layer of surface charge groups. Sterols are also used for the production of liposomes. Sterols, mainly cholesterol and its derivatives are quite often included as components of liposomal membrane. This cholesterol uh, can be added to the bilayer mixture for the different purposes. Mainly it acts as a fluidity buffer. Uh, it also acts as intercalator with phospholipid molecules and it decreases the permeability of membrane to water soluble molecules. Liposomes that are actually made without cholesterol are known to interact rapidly with the plasma proteins like albumin, transferrin and macroglobulins which lead to physical instability of liposomes. Synthetic phospholipids are also utilized. Uh, synthetic phospholipids include dipalmitoyl phosphatidylcholine DPPC and dipalmitoyl phosphatidylethanolamine DPPE and dipalmitoyl uh, phosphatidylserine DPPS. 
the there are unsaturated phospholipids which are also used and they include diolephosphatidylcholine DOPC and diolephosphatidylglycerol polymeric materials can also be used for the preparation of uh, liposomes uh, there are large variety of polymerizable lipids which can form vesicles uh, they include lipid containing conjugated dienes uh, methacrylate and thiol groups as polymerizable molecules there are certain specific special considerations for the selection of lipids and uh, these are these specific consideration based upon the action of liposomes for non irritant topical formulations if lipid liposomes are formulated into topical formulations then non ionic uh, liposomes are utilized uh, if uh, liposomes are used for localized infections then ionic liposomes are utilized or formulated and if liposomes are used for systemic applications liposomes with covalently attached polymers are made with lipids and if liposome is used for nucleic acid complexations then cationic liposomes that contain large fraction of neutral lipids are utilized